Let's take a look how you can make this interesting liquid chrome effect here in Illustrator inspired from Nick Eagle. So I'm going to go with the Nike Swoosh as a reference and I'm going to scale it down a little bit, make sure to lock it and I'm going to decrease the width to 700. And let's go and select the direct selection tool and I'm going to make these sharp edges around it. I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to drag the circle and it's going to make it around it. Now this looks incorrect. So what I'm going to do is double click on this little circle and I'm going to go to the rounding and select a relative. Click on it and click OK. I'm going to repeat the same step with the other edge. Now let's go to the gradient and apply some gradient. I'm going to select the radial gradient and I'm going to swap it. Press the letter G and here you can customize the gradient 100%. I'm going to bring these in and here you can rotate the gradient. And I'm also going to make it oval from this circle. Now I'm going to scale it up from this little square here. Great. Now let's go to the 3D materials and I'm going to select the inflate. Now I'm going to go to lighting. And let's go here to the settings. I'm going to increase the intensity to 115. Rotation is going to be 177. Height 20. And then let's go to softness. I'm going to increase it to 85. Intensity 150 again. Let's also activate the shadows. And from here we're going to apply the chrome. Let's go to effect, sketch and select the chrome. And now you already can see the effect. I'm going to go to the softness, increase it all the way up. And I'm going to increase the detail also to 8. Let's click OK. And now at least we're going to go back to the effects. Go to texture and select grain. Here I'm going to add a little bit of grain. Contrast is going to be on 50. Intensity on 35. Click OK. And if you want you also can customize this. You can press the letter G. This way you can customize the gradient. And it's not doing a lot. Or you can customize the rotation here. And now we got like different effects and the height. Press the letter G, reshape it, and there you go. I also want to make the shadow disappear here. So I'm going to select the swoosh, press Ctrl C and then Ctrl F to duplicate. Or you can go to edit and select paste in front. And on this duplicate, I'm going to go and remove the effects. Let's go to the appearance. I'm going to select the 3D, press and hold shift. I'm going to go all the way down to the grain and click on remove. And I'm just going to select the normal color for it. I'm also going to select the rectangle, create a rectangle on the top. I'm going to make this a light gray. Right click on the rectangle, arrange, send to back. And I'm going to press and hold shift and select the orange logo as well. Let's go back to the properties and click on Pathfinder minus front. So now you're going to be remained only with the Nike Swoosh logo and you can select it. And with the 3D materials, you can rotate and customize it however you like. And this way you're going to get like new results. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.